Persistence 2019. In keeping thy soul. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 9 states, Only take heed to thyself, and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life, but teach them thy sons, and thy sons' sons. It states that one can forget what thine eyes have seen. As believers, our eyes have seen his glory through his word which after seeing it should become a seed planted in our hearts. We have heard through William Shakespeare that the eyes are the windows to the soul. In Genesis chapter 3 and verse 5, the serpent told Eve that their eyes would be open. This was the serpent's cunning way of making Adam and Eve think emotionally in order that they follow the lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh and pride of life. This same satanic modus operandi was used against Jesus in his temptation. He uses the same tactic today as he presents to you what's before your eyes and entices you to run after the lust of the eyes. This lust of the eyes leads to a seed being planted in the heart if we do not cut it off immediately by means of the Word of God. We can see that in Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 9 that what is in your heart may depart by one following the lust of the eyes and the soulish way. David noted in Psalms chapter 119 and verse 11 that God's Word was hidden in his heart. Likewise we should have God's Word in our hearts and not allow the lusts of the soul in our eyes to make his Word depart from our heart. Our eyes should not forget that it is fixed upon the author and finisher of our faith the theme Persistence 2019 reiterates the words in Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 9 that we should keep our soul diligently. This is self-control and self-control is seen as one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit in the book of Galatians. We are urged to teach our generations to come of our blessed Savior yet the converse allows us to see that lust of the eye stems into the lust of the flesh which can affect generations to come. The spirit should lead the soul and not the other way around. Ensure that one makes a decision in spirit rather than with soulish emotions. The spirit is in check with the spirit of God therefore one is urged to keep thy soul. We have made many emotional decisions which have resulted in us creating Ishmael's in our lives as did Abraham. Emotionalism creates impatience resulting in rash decisions. Walk after the spirit in prayer and keep her soul in line with the spirit of God. May you persist in this year in spirit and truth while keeping your soul diligently. Fall in love with Jesus. It's the best thing you could ever do, persist in loving God by keeping your soul diligently. God bless you.